Today we're going to learn uh, how to start a new project in Eclipse and how to start a Java file, a Java class in Eclipse environment. So in order to start the process, the very first thing that you do, if, if you're using Eclipse for the first time, you're going to see this kind of an environment and you probably would have to bring your mouse over the welcome and close it. Once you do that, you're going to go into File and click on New and then you're going to choose Java Project. Once you select Java Project, it's going to ask you what would you like to name your project. So let's call this project Java Tutorial 1. Then it gives you an option to either use the default GRE, the Java Runtime Environment, which is 6, the latest version installed on this one. The 7 is out there, I did not install it yet. Or from this drop down list, you can choose more options if there are more options available to you. Or you can use um, from this drop down list any of the execution environment JRE. But I would like to keep it to the default because most of the code that I'll be writing through this process or through these tutorials will uh, be more than sufficient to be working on JRE 6. Now, once we have completed this, we would like to click finish. And now you're going to notice that we have a Java Tutorial 1. In order to start a Java class in Java Tutorial, you can right click on Java Tutorial, go to New, and choose Class. Always remember that in Java programming language, the name of the class and the name of the file that holds the class must always exactly be the same, even in the case. For example, if I decide to call my class employee, the name of the file should also be employee with a capital E. The default extension for all the Java files is Java. I would like to select this checkbox public static void main, which we're going to explore in our next tutorial. And now I'm going to click finish. Once I click finish, here is my employee.java file, and here is some of the default text available at my exposure. Some of the unnecessary text that I do not need for this example, I would going to delete that. We're going to explore that later on in the tutorials. And for the better structure of this document, just so that it makes more sense to the students who are starting to learn Java, I would like to restructure it such that it is more readable. Now notice as I have made all these changes, to the left of the employee.java class you see a little asterisk because the file has not yet been saved after the changes has been made to it so if I click on the save button or if I can use a shortcut control s either way the changes will be saved now as I have saved the changes to my document I can start writing code here now a couple of things for you to understand if you would like um, to change the different perspectives. Right now I am in a package explorer. You can go to window, you can go to show view, and then you can choose navigator. I prefer, personally it's my preference, to work with the navigator view. The reason is that it's much cleaner. It gives me a folder for my source code, and it gives me the folder for my bytecode. The difference between the source code and the bytecode is that whenever you write a Java source file, which is in a human readable form, after it gets compiled, it produces a bytecode version of the same file with a dot class extension. Whenever you execute your Java file, you're actually executing the dot class version of the file versus the dot Java version of the file. So this allows you to work around in this environment. This is my personal preference that I prefer working in the navigator environment.